Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Marty's Toy Box. For today's video, we are on WWE Shop for a video that I am very late to make. Uh, I figured, hey, you know, might as well make a video out of it. But, um, yeah, we are on the new and definitely not improved WWE Shop because there is a brand new Rey Mysterio Signature Series title for a whopping $500. Now, WWE Shop rebranded uh, whatever this hideous looking layout is um, last week or the week before, and I don't know if it was then or if I just never noticed it before, but like the prices for belts really jumped up. Signature series is, are now 500 when I thought they were 400 before, and then normal like replicas or some of them are like 350 and stuff. But anyways, let's take a look at the Shrey Mysterio titles. So... First of all, um, the strap is six millimeters thick. I don't know if that's normal or not. But what's different is the main plate is approximately three millimeters thick, as long as well as the side plates. And we've been asking for a 3D JMAR Big Gold, but they said instead of 3D, we'll give you three millimeters and not four or five millimeters. So still waiting on a 3D big gold. I was hoping this one would be it, would be how they introduced it, how they did like the Undisputed V2 with the Eddie Guerrero title, but it looks like they did not. But anyways, let's inspect this and take a look at it. So the strap, very cool. Half is green, half is red. Rey Mysterio Booyaka. Uh, let's see, can I get zoomed in pictures? No. Okay, this new, I hate this new layout. Okay, so you see Rey Mysterio and then Booyaka on one side. Um, then you have like Rey Mysterio's faces on each side going back and forth. Um, the back of the title is just a bunch of 619, I'm pretty sure. Um, here's a closer picture of the side. You have 619 on the strap. Uh, all red. I just wanted, actually, let's, okay, we can do this at the next picture. So, this bunch of little coins that has, I think, Rey Mysterio's face on them or something that represents Rey. Uh, here's the main plate, Rey Mysterio main plate, of course. Um, the leather cutout is very unique, to say the least. Um, I do not think this belt will hold up well in a detolf. Or displaying it in any way that's not like on the wall with nails or thumbtacks where it's just hanging down. If it's sitting on something being displayed, I don't think this leather will hold up. You see there's a peak right here at the bottom. And then it goes straight and then it goes up and up and over and up and over and up and over and up. Just like that. So if you sit it down, all of the weight of the belt is going to be going on this entire, this little peak right here. This little half circle. Um... Let's see, does it show how heavy it is? Because, uh, no, okay, it does not. I was going to say, I don't know how many pounds this belt is, but, like, it's all of that weight going on this tiny piece of the leather. So that's definitely going to get bent back and ruin the pristineness of the belt. Um, it is very unique, though, how it goes out, then up, then out, then up, then out, then up, um, all around it. Like on the side plates and like the main plate as well. Definitely unique. Um, and then of course like this Rey Mysterio mask outlining on the leather as well. White leather. You have white, green, and red for like the Mexican flag or whatever. Which is cool. Um, also what's cool is different gems for different sides. So the red side has the red gems. The green side has the green gems. Which is unique. Um, the back, you see the Rey Mysterio um, Buika at the strap. You see, it actually it looks like a longer strap than normal. Is Snapbox is really seven normally? Uh, I don't know. But then you have the Rey Mysterio belt tip itself right here, which is uh, unique. Uh, kind of. If you, you see right here, like it over, it goes through the belt a lot longer. I don't know. It's weird when they do... Um, belt tips like this because usually they're flat so they line up with the leather but if they're like a image like this or like a mask or something then it's very it sticks out a lot and just is really weird you have 619 going all over the back of the leather 
Um, and then here is a flat down picture. Uh, you see like the Rey Mysterio mask, if I'm able to, there we go. You see half like the Rey Mysterio mask here. And then on this one, on the green one, you have the other side of the mask and variations of color. So this one's green and red and so is this one. But this one's mainly red and this one's mainly green. So it's like a half and half sort of deal. And then this is the belt bag. 619s, then you have Rey Mysterio's face as the main part of it. So, yeah, pre orders will be shipped out no later than August 15th. Um, yeah, this is his signature series belt. I, I like the uniqueness of it. Will I pick this up myself? I want to say no, but I feel like I might next week. Uh, you'll see why when that day does come if I end up picking it up um, But no 3d big gold still And that's why I probably won't if this, if this was 3d like JMR 3d plates. Oh I would pick it up for sure, but it's still the basic three millimeter or two Well, it's three, three millimeters and it's like the terrible big gold but yeah let me know what you guys think of this down in the comment section below. And I thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.